So if you have tried it, let me know down in the comments below if it's worth the money because I've just, it's been one of those things I always want. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. If you are new, hi, my name is Kelsey. If you are not new, I truly appreciate you coming back. Today, mm, today's video, <clears throat> excuse me, I live in Colorado, which normally is extremely hot and very sunny, right? Like 300 days out of the year, we're sunny. Um, no, not this year. This year we're sunny 65 days. So far, I think we've had honestly maybe two to three weeks of like really nice weather other than that it has been gloomy stormy rainy not summer so for today's video i'm bringing summer here um i am telling you guys all of the summer things that you should have or just ideas of stuff if you like recently moved near a beach or you have a pool or a lake or something that you can go outside be around water or even just go outside these are all of my summer staples i have collected pretty much everything that i try and use in the summer i do have to say that i did grow up in san diego so i am very familiar with like the beach life so i know a lot about that um but today's just gonna be hold on i gotta make sure that ryan's all good so today is just going to be kind of everything that I think is kind of essential to that like beach bag or just that beach vibe or if you're going to be outside, you need these things. Some of the things you need, other things are suggestions if you're just looking to spice it up. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. Okay, first on my list is a water bottle, not just the Stanley. I'm just drinking out of my Stanley right now. Um, you guys are going to need a water bottle. My biggest suggestions are to get... A water bottle that is not going to get hot in the sun um like plastic ones i wouldn't do that bring like the metal canteen ones fill them with ice and they'll stay a lot cooler if you have those straw covers definitely put those on as well i don't have mine i do try and bring my hydro my hydro flask um but i do have a black hydro flask so it can get hot so i try and bring the white one when i can but just you need a good water bottle. You need a big water bottle because you don't want to have to worry about filling it up if you're hot. You want to be able to just like drink till you're satisfied. So you're going to need a water bottle, okay? Next up, sunscreen. Body, face. Face, I am using the Super Goop Glow Screen. Truthfully, this is probably a little too glowy for me. I am going to go to the Unseen. Um, and then just Copper Tone US, or USPS, <laughs> SPFs. SPF 50. Um, you are going to want to make sure that it is higher than, I think it's like 30 to really be effective. UVA, UVB, you're going to need like the broad spectrum. You're going to need all of this. Okay. We're applying sunscreen all over. We're doing it. Sunscreen, sunscreen. So then after the sun, everything, you're going to need some after sun stuff. Aloe vera, it's just straight aloe vera. We have the bottle downstairs, um, like from Walmart. That works perfectly fine. I did get this in a FabFitFun box and it's just like a very moisturizing aloe vera version. You can put this in the fridge to be extra cooling. I am currently peeling from a sunscreen or a sunburn currently. Um, you cannot see it actually it looks pretty good, but you're going to need some aftercare sun stuff. Um, I know that Hawaiian sun has a really good version of this as well, but truthfully just aloe vera, something like that, that you can kind of put on your skin to cool it. Another hack, if you are very summer or you just really like the cooling sensation, you can put these in, um, ice cube trays and freeze them. And then you can kind of just like put them all over your body. So that's a good trick. Another good trick that I don't have, but just that I thought of when I was talking about the beach, if you go to the beach, put your phone in a Ziploc bag. You'll still be able to use the buttons, but you will not have to worry about your sand getting in or sand getting in any cracks or crevices in your phone. I used to do that all the time. Me and my friends used to do that all the time. It was just, it was a, a game changer, a complete game changer. So make sure that if you are, just put your phone in like a Ziploc bag, it'll stay completely covered from the sand. Great hack. Okay, so I just went off about sunscreen. We're still using sunscreen, guys. We're not skipping the sunscreen. That goes on first. But truthfully, I am a little tanning baby. Um, I love to tan. I am a 
I'm a bum, okay? So I do like to kind of put some tanning stuff on. I don't use the oil anymore, um, just because I felt like that was a little too intense, but I, I cannot say that I've never owned it and that I've never used it, I have. Um, but this, this is great. So this is the Maui Browning Lotion. This stuff will get you tan so fast. So be careful when using this. My recommendation, what I probably am going to start doing is I'm gonna put on sunscreen first and then I'm kind of gonna go about whatever and then towards like middle end, I'm gonna apply this all over my body and I'm gonna get that last bit of browning in. They do have like an after sun one of the same brand. So you can try that. I'm sure it works great. Um, but this stuff, it's it does, it does have a color and it will get on stuff, but it hasn't stained anything that I have got it on yet. So do be careful. It does have some color like coming off, but nothing crazy. This is, this is really good. So now that we have tanned, we've burned, we've protected, we're hydrated. We're going to come home. We're going to rinse everything off and then we're going to moisturize. Okay. Okay, um, so what I do after being in the sun is I get like an oil. This is just like a hydrating body oil. I'll link this down below. You can get any one. Um, I do like the scent of this one a lot. So I thought that I hated oils for my body. I truly did, but I found that you need just the smallest amount. So like for my, this is what I would use for my entire body. Let's. maybe like five drops. That's what I'm gonna use for like my entire body. Um, I hated it when I would go overboard because it just left this like sticky, gooey residue. But then once I saw someone apply it with a much smaller amount, I tried that and it is amazing. So I get out of the shower, I put the oil on and then I do seal it in with some type of body lotion. Um, I talked about this in my empties or favorites or something like that. This body lotion is a great body lotion. Um, I do tend to prefer the Lubriderm one though because I feel like it's a little bit thicker and it um, emulsifies in my skin a little bit better. But this one is a good one. I do recommend this one as well. It's just good lotion. I'm a scent girly. Um, I have, if you've been here for any amount of time, you know I have a drawer dedicated to like my small little perfume samples and like trial stuff that I love smelling. So I go through a lot of different scents. Um, I do strongly like having like a summer scent and then kind of like a winter scent for my body sprays because I kind of layer. My summer scent is always some version of the Sol de Janeiro body sprays. Um, I'm using this 41 right now, which is so good. Truthfully, I do prefer the original one to this one for the summer. This one is more my winter one, but I just can't afford to get the summer one right now. So I'm just using this up, but get yourself just like a staple summer scent because, and you can change it every year or you can keep it because smells are related to memories. So if you keep one summer scent, it's going to correlate every time you wear that. And I just, I do that with like different periods of my life. I'm gonna do that with my wedding. It's just something that I truly, truly wholeheartedly believe. And I love kind of just associating scents with times in my life. So each summer I do try and pick like a different scent to just kind of like spark new memories, keep new memories, stuff like that. Anyway, get yourself a scent that you really enjoy that is staple and you know you're gonna be smelling like a Hawaiian tropics queen. Okay, this one is for my pool girlies. I if you missed my vlog, I am now swimming, so I am kind of a pool girly. Um, this one, I think it's good. I would just recommend the, just the product in general is getting like a swimmer shampoo. Um, this one is the Ion brand. I truthfully don't know anything about it. This was gifted to me, so I just use it and I think it works great. It's supposed to prevent swimmers green, protects from the sun and chlorine damage, so. I really enjoy using this whenever I get out of the or the pool and I know I'm going to wash my hair, I will be using this. I think just getting like a summer or I'm, excuse me, a swimmer's shampoo and conditioner, like one to have in rotation if you are swimming a lot, if you are blonde, definitely get something like this because chlorine can turn our hair 
green and you don't want that and this I think just really helps protect your hair and I think this is a great great thing I never would have thought of this until I got it and it was like oh this is a fantastic idea it's kind of like purple shampoo but no okay something I don't have with me right now are these like low sitting adjustable beach chairs I love these you can put these on your back like backpacks and you can just take them wherever you can adjust them I love having a chair to sit in to read it's just I absolutely love these things they are very portable they are not hard to take by yourself I took it all the time to the beach by myself when we lived near the beach um, and it they worked fantastic they have a pocket on the back and they also have um, like pockets on the side that you can put your drinks I recommend some sort of beach chair if you are a beach tanner like I am where you normally just lay down give this a shot just for like those in-betweens when you kind of just want like some back support um, I highly recommend these chairs I love these chairs okay next up two different options I'm gonna say get whatever one works for you um, you're gonna need a hat okay where you're gonna need a hat because eventually your son's just not gonna be your <laughs> I can't speak today your face isn't gonna be in the Sun anymore um, so I usually you like a trucker hat or something like this but if I'm feeling fancy I will go with like this type of hat where it says do not disturb and I'll just wear this floppy hat around I love it I feel like a rich mom vacationing in Bahamas honestly like this this just feels like me this is who I am now um, so get yourself some sort of like face protection hat visor something because you know there's gonna be a time where halfway through the day you're like I just don't want my son my I don't want my face in the Sun the Sun is frying my brain apparently um but you know you could also just get one that makes you feel fancy so get a hat just whatever one you like cheap ones from Amazon I use those too this might seem self-explanatory, but truthfully, I always wore my rainbow sandals. And if you live in Southern California, you know about the rainbow sandals. I don't know if they're still a thing. They probably are. Those were some of my favorite, favorite sandals. They suck to break in. I had blisters. I had scars. They're horrible to break in. But once you get them broken in and they form to your feet, they're some of the best sandals I've ever had. Um, but... I would, would wear them to the beach and I would never really want them to get like super wet because it ruined just the sole on it. I One time I remember we were walking around, my foot got stuck in like sand mud with the shoe and it just completely destroyed the shoe. So I now wear rubber slides to the pool, to the beach. These are just so much easier. These are Lululemon. You do not need these. You can just get cheap ones off Amazon. I have all different types. You do not need the expensive ones. These were just in my pool bag because these are the ones that I do keep for the pool. I, I The rubber slides are a game changer because like I said, it's not gonna ruin the sole, anything like that. You can literally walk into water with these and it's not going to ruin them. Um, I wouldn't recommend that, but you can. So if you're still doing like the, the cloth fabric sandals, try rubber sol de janeiro coco copa cabana bronze glow oil this i love i haven't put any on today because i wanted to do like my shoulder on camera it locks which is nice it's a good feature for something that has some color so it does come out pretty bronzy and glowy and then you just rub it in taking my broad shirt off oh well it smells so incredibly good it smells like coconuts seeing as I think it's gone okay so that is that it is so incredibly glowy and pretty like look at the difference here It even brings out the collarbone completely. Like it really brings it out. So I really like this. I think it just adds something to like if you're just going out and you want to look a little fancier, it just adds a really nice 
glow to the skin. Um, I am peeling, so it is kind of like pilling on my skin. So hopefully this soaks in. We'll update throughout the, the rest of the video. It is very sticky on the hands, I will say. I feel like I should go wash my hands, but we're too lazy to do that here. We're gonna, we're gonna persevere with sticky hands. <laughs> Okay, so one thing that I think is pretty obvious, but I just have like a suggestion because I have wanted this specific one for a very long time. Obviously, you're going to the pool, you're going to the beach, you want a towel. Um, my first recommendation is get a big like beach towel, just as big as you possibly can and have that one just be like your lay on, everything goes on it, sand can get on it, everything like that. Just a big one, okay? Next is the specific towel being a sand cloud. That is a towel that I think the people who developed it are actually from San Diego. And it's a towel that repels sand. So it is in, an incredible beach towel. I have wanted one since they, I first knew about them. Um, I just haven't got them because Clearly I don't live by the beach anymore, but if I did, I would, I would buy that one. It is so incredibly cool. I, I want to really try it. So if you have tried it, let me know down in the comments below if it's worth the money because I've just, it's been one of those things I always want. And obviously, since we're on the obvious topic, um, you're going to need some, some cute bathing suits. So I got this one off Amazon. It's super cute. It is so like neon bright. It is insane. I got this because I was like, wow, people wear this. It's so cute. I used to love wearing neon in high school. Um, I am too embarrassed to wear this out. I will wear this around like in my backyard if I'm tanning, but I will not wear this out in public. I feel like it just attracts attention, just the color. Um, and sometimes that's not what I would be wanting, but Amazon has a lot of great bathing suit options. Um, that's where I get pretty much most of my swimsuit options, but I will say that I do have one bathing suit bottom from Buff Bunny, and I really do like that one, but I don't think they're really doing swimwear as much, so wouldn't necessarily do that, but Amazon, great options, and truthfully, like, swimwear is something that you're just gonna kinda like reuse over and over again so it's not going to be in the best of shape so my thought is like just get the cheap cute ones and have a whole bunch of different varieties that's the way i go you're gonna need a book a good book will change everything i am currently reading the alex cross series i'm reading the first book along came a spider i'm almost done but you're it, it passes the time it makes it so much more enjoyable Getting the Kindle has really helped because I can like kind of take this everywhere. The glare from the sun isn't too much. I can just read like I love my Kindle. I thought I was going to miss the paperback of like real books, but I absolutely love my Kindle so much. Um, and yeah, just really find a book that works for you. I tried to just get on like the trending books and like try and read those and I never really enjoyed them. I enjoy a lot of like mystery crime kind of that stuff it just in, I, i'll fly through a book um so get a book that you really enjoy or a series or something like that one of my this is second to last is a big t-shirt dress i have multiple of these i have ones from this is from target i have ones from vitality i have like just really extra extra large t-shirts I love wearing these to the pool. It's just like an, a shirt you just throw on. It covers everything, but it's one piece of clothing. You're not wearing like jean shorts and a tank top, which I used to do, or sometimes um, like just shorts and a tank top. I prefer these so, so much. I am sure they have like specific t-shirt dresses. This I just got in a double XL and it is big enough for me, but there are specific t-shirt dresses and these are the best bathing suit cover up. I love these. Okay, and now my last one is kind of like a, I need help. <laughs> um, you have to have a good bag. I have seen this bag kind of like trending everywhere, but it is so expensive. I think Amazon has a couple of dupes. I need a good beach bag. I need a good pool bag. I need a good water bag. And I have not found that. So 
if you have any recommendations please leave them down below because clearly i that's like one of the main things i'm lacking and how do you go to the beach without a bag like i just i need a bag every time i go to the pool or something i'm like dang i wish i had a bag so me not having it makes me realize how important it is and how much i really want one so if you have any recommendations again please leave them down in the comments because i want a bag that i don't have to worry about getting wet or like sand getting in if i were to take it to the beach so that's kind of where I'm at. Okay, and that is all I have for the recommendations. I hope you guys got something from this. I always love watching these videos because I feel like just someone will say something and it's like, oh, I've never thought of that before. And I just, I really love seeing what's in people's bags because we all know I'm very nosy. So that is all of my like summer essentials. If you have any summer essentials that I just completely missed, leave them down in the comments because I love to add to my bag or just, get ideas from everybody. I feel like you guys have wonderful ideas. So if you like this type of video, kind of like haul reviews, that kind of stuff, please give it a thumbs up. That's kind of how I gauge what videos you guys like. And don't forget to subscribe if you are not already subscribed and I'll see you in the next video.